I knew nothing about this film going in except that critics did not like it. Um, that is all I knew. And uh, I, I don't really get it. Like, I, I, my guess is that the critics watched the first half hour of this film and then they were like, ah, I don't like it. Because that's how I felt. And then I actually watched the entire film. And believe it or not, my thoughts changed on Patch Adams. Patch Adams was released in 1998. It was written by Steve Odenkirk and directed by Tom Shadyak. And uh, no spoilers, but the general idea is it's about Patch Adams, who's a real person, who is this depressed person who realizes happiness in helping others. And so he becomes, a, he tries to become a doctor to help patients through comedy and laughter and, and just general happiness and joy and the acceptance of death in a, in a sort of way. And I think this movie is really cool. I will say the first half hour of this movie sucks. It's bad. It's, it's really bad. It's like boring on a bad level because it just feels... Like, it's forcing us to feel for for Patch, and you don't. Until he starts going to school, and then it's relatable. Like, it, it becomes relatable really fast. It goes from this, like, incredibly unrelatable person of, like, this depressed person who has a lot of stuff going on, just can't find out why he's sad. And then he goes from that into being immediately super happy and being all around this great person. And then that becomes super relatable because he has friends who are kind of weirded out by him, but also kind of like him. And it becomes complicated. But he meets this girl uh, named Corinne, who is this really awesome uh, person. And they kind of go through this thing and they, he realizes I could make a free hospital and just help people become happy and, and cure their wounds at the same time. And I'm not going to go into the complete deep politics of it but it was nice it was nice to, to watch that that character growth um as soon as he starts school that's when this movie becomes really good in my opinion i liked from the moment he started school to the end i liked this movie yesterday i watched the first 20 minutes of this film and i said ugh i'm bored i'll finish this tomorrow so i went to sleep this morning i was like oh i gotta finish this movie i clicked play and immediately it was when he started school and i was like oh wait whoa is this even the same movie i saw yesterday like i don't know and yes it is um because from that moment on it actually becomes a cool story about character growth and love and acceptance of death and i like it a whole lot i i like the comedy and i like the seriousness of robin williams in this this is one of my favorite robin williams performances it's not one of my favorite movies of his but his performance in particular I think it was really good. I don't know if he was nominated for anything for this, but like, I feel like he should have been. Like, he really, really should have been. Like, I don't know. I don't know. I wish I Googled more about it, but I liked his performance a whole lot. I think it's definitely Academy Award worthy in terms of, in comparison to his other, uh, like, Flubber. Like, like, that's just a really weird slapstick character. And then he goes to do this, which is this funny character mixed in with this really dark kind of sadness and it's cool to watch him kind of juggle with that a little bit and i do think monica potter potter as corinne is really really good i think she's brilliant um i like her character a whole lot she brings a, a liveliness to this film that it definitely needed um and i've heard that sh like she did not actually exist in real life um i don't care <laughs> the character is really cool and it helps make the story a little bit more relatable and uh, approachable to audiences so i liked the character a lot and i appreciate the addition of it uh, there's this tragic thing that happens about about eh, an hour and a half into the film that like I was not at all expecting and not at all ready for. I was I literally was sitting here and I was like, whoa, no way they just did that. It was incredible. I commend you. I was very upset. I wasn't crying, but I felt like I wanted to cry. And then it leads Rob Williams to do a lot of really cool stuff towards the end of this film that honestly feels formulaic. I will say that. I don't care. I like it a lot. I, I liked how the formula was bent a little bit and then just kind of let it end. And I was like, oh, cool. Happy ending as always. And I was like, cool. I will say that the happy ending feels a little cheated because it was so close to this crazy bad thing that happens uh, towards the end of the film. But I'm okay with it uh, because it, it felt relatable and I liked it a lot. Um, but overall, I'm going to keep this one a little short because probably no one's ever heard of this film. But I like this movie quite a bit more than most critics. Um, I recommend you check it out if you have not already. I'm going to go ahead and give Patch Adams an A-. minus. Have you guys seen this film? Let me know in the comments down below what you guys thought about it. Um, I don't know if it's streaming anywhere, um, but it's good. Like, I rented it, and it's good. I recommend you check it out. Um, just plow through the first 20 minutes. It's bad. It's really bad. But then it becomes like... An actual cool, relatable film. And I'm assuming most critics 
hate this movie because of the issues that the beginning of the film brought upon. Um, because it was frustrating to watch, but it gets a whole crap ton better. So definitely, definitely check that out if you are interested. Please consider subscribing. It's a huge, huge help. I would really, really appreciate it. And as always, keep watching movies and television. Stay educated, and I'll see you guys in the next video.